As we prepare for summer travel, an important reminder for drivers. There's a big blind zone in front of supersized vehicles where a driver can easily miss a child or pet. ABC 3340 Cynthia Gould with the eye-opening demonstration. As SUVs and trucks get bigger and bigger, so do the blind zones out front. We see an alarming number of children, um, thousands, being injured every year by being hit by a large SUV or any vehicle. To show you how that's happening, Children's Hospital of Alabama set up a demonstration for us. Our vehicle measures over four feet tall, dolls lined up to represent children, and from behind the wheel. Right now, we moved it back, I think, to 15 feet, and I can't see anything. It's more like 21 feet before we can see the dolls' heads. This is a scary demonstration. It's shocking. Blind zones around a vehicle stretch more than you may realize. In 2018, backup cameras became standard. So here's the new technology. We are just now starting to see some 360 bird's eye view um, cameras. In 2020, the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration reported 526 forward moving non-traffic deaths and more than 10,000 injuries that happened off of public roadways. 90% of these front overs are children less than six years of age. According to Brown, often the victim knows the driver, a parent, grandparent, or babysitter. What we call a front over typically occurs in a driveway or a parking lot. Brown says discourage any unsupervised play in the driveway. In a parking lot, hold your toddler or have them in a stroller or grocery cart. Older children hold their hand. Teach them the red lights means someone is ready to back up. Consider child locks higher up on a door to keep a little one from slipping outside. It's called the bye-bye syndrome where a young child um, is either coming out to greet a parent that's coming home from work or they see a parent or guardian that's leaving the home, walks out of the home to follow the parent, and the parent never knew that they came out of the home, and they crank the car and leave and have hit the children. Experts advise before you crank up, take a walk around your vehicle and look as an added safety check. Cynthia Gould, ABC 3340 News. Safety advocates at kids and cars say that data on these incidents are only estimates. They want more detailed reporting and legislation to prevent front overs.